Hi, I'm Plummy, and in this episode of Ready K, I'm gonna be continuing my reactions to newest's romanticized album with the songs Drive, the Korean version, and also we're gonna be starting off the solos uh, uh, of the members in this album, starting off with Aaron's I'm Not and Beckho's Needed. I'm actually pretty excited for those two because I honestly have no idea exactly what they're gonna sound like and how much I'm gonna like them and whether I'm gonna like them or not, so... Yeah, I'm pretty excited for that, but I'm also, I guess, interested to check out the last group song uh, of this album, which is Drive, so without further ado, let's just straight up jump into it in 3, 2, 1. Okay. Interesting beginning. Okay, it's actually pretty decent. It's definitely better than the last song that I reacted to. It's better than Black for sure. Honestly, this feels a little bit like a title track. Okay, I think this might be the first song of the album that I'm gonna have to react to a second time. Cause yeah, this one definitely feels like a title track. I mean, considering that this is like a Korean version, it, it means that there was a Japanese version, because I'm pretty sure I saw it when I was looking up the videos for, for the reaction. But I wasn't sure whether Drive was a Japanese comeback or debut or whatever you want to call it. It definitely will explain how, why this song feels like a title track. And honestly, this song, out of the songs that I've listened to so far, is gonna be the one that I'm probably gonna end up listening to the most. It has the biggest likelihood of me listening to it. Because, like, the chorus is actually really good. Like, this is really good. And I was also reminded of uh, newest Where You At while I was uh, taking a break between the last video and this one. And this song honestly kind of reminds me of that. It gives, it gives me the same feeling, so it definitely makes me like it even more. Okay, honestly, as I said, I would love to react to it a second time, but we don't, we just don't have the time. I know that I said that I might have reacted to it, but I just don't have the time. There's so many songs I have to react to, so I'm sorry for kind of lying about it. I thought that there was going to be more that I needed to know about the song, that's why I said it. But yeah, um, it is a good song. Um, it's the best written one for sure and it just has the highest quality so far which again it's not surprising because it seems like this was a 
a Japanese track that was also translated in Korean. And I'm expecting that if I ever check out a Japanese song, which I'm not sure whether I will be able to do it on the channel because, um, for those of you who don't know, Japan is very strict with the, with the copyright, even when it comes to K-pop groups doing Japanese songs. It's not always uh, clear whether the reaction will get copyright blocked or not, and I don't want to do a reaction to a song that I don't necessarily have a personal interest checking out if the song is going to get almost definitely or most likely blocked. So that's why you probably shouldn't even ask me to check out the Japanese song because I don't want to risk uh, wasting time uh, reacting to it only for the video to get blocked. And we've already listened to the Korean version, so usually whenever I listen to a song with multiple <clears throat> with multiple versions, the song that I end up liking is usually the one that I've heard first, so even if the Japanese one is better... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice for, for some reason. So even if the Japanese song is actually better, the fact that I've listened to the Korean one first is just inherently making it better for me. And yeah, I genuinely like it, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it, so I'm honestly gonna give it a 10 out of 10. It feels like a 10 out of 10, it feels like a title track, because it kind of is, but in the realm of this album, it's so far the best song, 100%. And I'm genuinely probably gonna end up listening to it at least a little bit, because I've been a little bit more open to non-hard-hitting song this year, even though I still end up listening to the hard-hitting song the most, I've listened to more of this kind of like more typical K-pop stuff this year, so I'm almost definitely gonna give it a few listens uh, in my free time as well. But yeah, uh, now let's move on to the solos, and as I said, we're gonna be starting off the solos with Aaron's I'm Not, so let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that not all the vocal songs are going to be ballads because I'm pretty sure that the JR solo track is going to be a rap song but I'll be really bothered if uh, all the vocalist songs are ballads they're probably not gonna be but I'm still worried about it Okay, he has a beautiful vocal. Like, it's not like this is bad or anything, it's just that it's not necessarily interesting to me to listen to. I can appreciate it for how good it is. Also, I just want to say I'm glad that there's no sign of uh, the big hit out to tune in these songs from New West because uh, it has started to spread to other groups outside of and hype and TXT and BTS as well because uh, G Friend's most recent comeback Mago definitely had a lot of the big hit type of auto tune so I'm glad that there isn't any in, in uh, New West's uh, new songs. It allows me to be able to actually hear their proper vocals, which are beautiful on their own, they don't need autotune. Yeah. 
Okay. Honestly, this was a pretty solid song. There was pretty much nothing wrong with it. It's not something I will listen to ever again, most likely, because it's just not the kind of song that I'll ever feel uh, like I'm in a situation where I I will enjoy it because it's uh, it's a ballad and as I've said before the only times I, when I tend to listen to ballads is whenever I'm kind of sad and depressed so because I don't really feel sad and depressed anymore uh, nowadays ever since I started my YouTube channel I don't really feel, feel like I have any time where I feel it's justified really to listen to this song but ignoring my my personal thoughts on it um uh, it's a good song as i said it's perfect i even though i did, don't necessarily care for the song i enjoyed listening to aaron's beautiful vocals he was great in it he did magnificently but it's just for me personally not really a song that has much going for it in terms of interesting stuff and it just has no situation in which i'll really feel like listening to it but still, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because there's nothing wrong with it. There was no moment where I was like, oh man, that didn't really work with the song. Oh man, I'm so bored by it. No, even though it's not the song that I would enjoy the most, I still enjoyed listening to it for the reaction. It's just that outside of it, I'll never hear this song again. But it was a good song and I feel like almost have, uh, uh, US fans are gonna love it. So yeah, um, we're definitely off to a good start with the solos, definitely better than I expected again. But I'm, I guess, most excited for GR's uh, solo song because he's a rapper, and if you didn't know, I love rappers and rapping, so I'm pretty excited for that one. Hopefully I'll love it. If the quality keeps up, I'm probably gonna love it, but that's gonna happen in the next video. In this one, we're gonna be finishing it off with Big Hills Needed. So, without further ado, let's get into that song in three, two, one. Big Hill has a pretty cool vocal, so I'm pretty curious to see how his song is gonna sound like. Okay, I kind of liked it in the beginning where the song was going to go, but again it changed in a direction where I feel like it's a little worse. Okay, so I'm thinking that this song is going to be the kind of more sultry slash sexy kind of song that is slow. Because it's not really a ballad. But damn if he doesn't have some good vocals. Again, they're a really good vocal group. I'm gonna give him that. It's just that for me, vocals are not necessarily something that I care too much about. Huh. That sounding beat reminds me of something. I think literally recently I reacted to a song that sounded like this and that song sounded like something similar as well. The chorus of this song sounds kind of reminiscent of um, uh, Purple Kisses Can We Talk Again, which in turn sounded very similar to The Boy's Tattoo in terms of the choruses. So I kind of like that about this song. Also, in terms of style and vibe, this song feels... Uh, it reminds me of... Uh, uh, what was that song which B from BTS performed uh, as an intro for the Tear album? I think it was Singularity or something. It definitely feels like it's the same style. I can pretty much imagine the music video for this song, what it would be.
I do really like the the vibe of the chorus, like the sound and the beat. I really like that. Mainly because it reminds me of your these other songs, but I do like it. Okay, so this one was a little bit of an interesting case. I feel like this one was, to me personally, a little bit more interesting because it reminded me of those other songs and it just feel like there was a little bit more of a variety in the things in the song. It wasn't one consistent sound that was going throughout the song and the uh, singer wasn't singing in the one sound uh, as it was for Aaron's I'm Not. So that a uh, little bit of a switch up here and there made it a little bit more interesting to me. But in a way, I feel like Aaron's I'm Not was a little, little better because that one just felt like a perfect song. Like, there was no moment where it felt slightly weaker than the other moments in the song. Well, I feel like for this song, it does have that a little bit. And also the fact that it's reminiscent of other songs in a pretty big way, honestly kind of makes it feel less original. Um, maybe saying less original is a little bit too hard, but that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting from it in a way. But yeah, in a way, in a weird way, personally, I kind of enjoyed this one a little bit more, but in a way I feel like it was a little worse uh, than uh, Aaron Simon Hot. And in terms of the ratings, I'm going to give it a 9.8 out of 10. Because, uh, again, it was still a really great song, but it just felt a little weaker than uh, Arms I'm Not. Actually, you know, I'm going to give it a 9.6 out of 10. I think that's a better score for it. Um, they're practically the same in a way, because it's not that much of a difference in terms of the scores, but this is just to explain exactly how I feel uh, for these two songs compared to each other. But yeah, um, so far... I'm, I was pretty surprised by Drive, even though I probably shouldn't have, uh, because it is a Japanese title track, most likely, so... Of course, it was going to be much higher uh, in terms of its quality compared to the other songs of the album. And so far, out of the solos, they are about as good as I was expecting that they were going to be, but still nothing too personally interesting for me. They're good. And I think uh, newest fans are gonna be all over these solos, but for me personally, they're nothing too interesting. They're not bad, they're really good, and it shows the members' talents, but for me personally, they're not super interesting, you know? But yeah, um, the next song we're gonna be checking out is gonna be in the next video, and it's going to be JR's Doom Doom, so I'm really excited about that one, so you should definitely check out part three of this video. So yeah, Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, uh, leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out the next description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my webpad where I post my stories. Because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories, or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon where you can pledge support and help get the channel going. It helps support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways, like liking this video, subscribing, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!